Okay, so in the last previous video about Tesla Model 3, I had a few complaints from you guys because I didn't make an in-depth comparison when it came to maintenance costs between an electric car such as the Tesla Model 3 and a conventional car with an internal combustion engine. And I would like to discuss about that in this video. And also for those of you who didn't watch my first video about the Tesla Model 3, I highly recommend you to go and watch that video first before watching this one. In a traditional engine, there are lots of moving parts which can be expensive to repair or replace. We also have catalysts and DPF filters in diesel engines, which generally have a lifespan of around 200,000 km and cost over $2,000 to replace. You can see for yourself all the components that need maintenance in a conventional car. In a Tesla and in any electric car you don't need to worry too much about all those components, what you really need to do is to change the brake pads, the brake disc, the brake fluid, tires, a few LEDs if necessary, a windshield if it gets cracked or scratched, some Freon for the AC system and that's pretty much it. No oil, no coolant, no fuel pump, no water pump, no turbochargers, no timing belts, no catalysts and the list goes on. I will compare the maintenance costs for a Tesla and for a conventional car over a 5 year time frame. Every conventional car needs what I'm writing here and these are just average prices. If you have an expensive limousine or a supercar, prices will significantly increase. If you don't have a brand new car, expect to replace some of the following components. Clutch, injectors, turbocharger, fuel pump, water pump, gaskets, a battery or a starter motor. What may get damaged after 8 to 12 years are the batteries, which are expensive but they have a large lifespan, so you shouldn't be worrying about that at the moment. So the results are as they follow. To drive a brand new Tesla for 10,000 km you need $720 per year of which only $250 are required for fuel or electricity. Now here's the thing, if you would install solar panels with a power output of 1.3 kW, you would save those $250 for fuel each year. The solar panel system would cost you around $2500 and guess what? Even Tesla themselves are selling solar panels, so if you get the car and the solar panels, you might get a great offer. Also, in most countries the tax for pollution, emissions or whatever you may call it is zero. In Romania it's zero and in other European countries it's zero as well. Insurance is pretty much the same as for any regular car with the same power, 258 horsepower. Now let's move to conventional cars which have different costs of running. If we take the average fuel consumption around the world we need around $4800 or $960 per year but only if the car is new. If anything else breaks, you will need to pay extra. If your car is a second-hand one and you have over 200,000 km on board, expect to pay double the price or even more, especially if it's a diesel. The diesel particulate filter alone costs over $2,000. Now this price is available for the United States, where gasoline is cheaper than in Europe. In the US, the cost per liter is around $0.65 per liter, whereas in Europe, the average price is around $1.30 dollars per liter, so exactly double the price. So in Europe the conventional car would cost you around $1560 per year or $7800 in 5 years. If you have an engine with 258 horsepower or even more and we take an average fuel consumption of around 15 liters per 100 kilometers, you would need around $1300 per year in the United States or $2200 per year in Europe. Now, to be honest, in Europe the average fuel consumption is around 7 liters per 100 km or even lower, so you need around $1200 per year, but keep in mind this, it won't be as fast as a Tesla. 
You also need to pay a tax for pollution, at least in the UK or in Romania. The average cost is around $300 per year and in more expensive European countries it's much more expensive. In a Tesla car that cost is zero. Now let's make a more realistic comparison. The Tesla Model S has 700 horsepower and it's all-wheel drive. It's faster than the Lamborghini Huracan from 0 to 60 miles per hour, so let's compare these two. It's not fair to compare a powerful electric car to a standard inline 4 conventional car with 100 horsepower. So here we go. The Huracan needs around $25,000 per year, which includes maintenance, fuel, taxes, and insurance, whereas the Model S needs just $2,200. It's just 11 times cheaper to drive a Model S than a Huracan, and guess what? Zero emissions. Now, I have to admit, you can't reach 340 km in a Tesla like you can in a Huracan. And also, after 150 km per hour, the Lambo takes the lead. But you can't summon your Huracan to pick you up, so I think Lambo loses overall. Now, don't get me wrong, I would sell my soul to Lamborghini to hear that insane naturally aspirated V10 on the track. It's an automotive masterpiece, but things are shifting towards electric cars. And this is the bare truth. So these are the differences in terms of maintenance between a Tesla and a conventional car. If you have any other questions, be sure to leave them down below. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.